Ganon. He can certainly fight them, but he's not having fun. I don't right know. Now. Could canonically, just, could Sheik ever lose to Ganon? That's a good question. Uh, in, in the Smash, if we're talking the Smash Bros. comics, then yes. Yeah. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But anyway, we're gonna get into this right now. Like I said, uh, this matchup is basically gonna go. Ice is gonna get his uh, low percent damage. Uh, he's gonna get his strings, his forward throws, the bouncing fishes, as if you may. Um, but. All Mr. L's gonna have to do is just grab him two or three times with rage, and it's gonna spell curtains for him. But. Yeah, I, I think the key to if, if you're gonna abuse your character's good frame data in order to win against somebody like DK, uh, who you know I would say is, is definitely not by a bad character by any means, as he gets carried off those small blast zones. Yeah. Uh, you just have to trust your conversions. You have to trust your reaction time. Uh, that's something that a lot of uh, top tier players will hesitate against these like middle like heavyweight characters, uh, just because they're not necessarily. 100% sure what to do all the time, or like they overcommit sometimes, and it, it costs them. But Ice playing really safe, doing a really good job. Yeah, um, I would say if I hates the heavyweights, I'd say Sheik out of all the heavyweights definitely does really well against Bowser, and uh, not Bowser, Donkey Kong. Wrong, uh, wrong fat guy. But um, just because it is, Donkey Kong gets juggled really, really hard, and Donkey Kong doesn't have the greatest amount of landing options, but great pivot grab right there, especially on the ledge. Look to see how Mr. L. Uh, tries to get off ledge pressure uh, from Cheek. Just because Donkey Kong, historically from the ledge, that, that great of a character. Ooh. Soft there and a bouncing fish. Looking really, really solid right here uh, for Ice. Oh, that was wow. lovely. Great punish right there. Uh, he saw the jump and then immediately pulled the trigger. And it's like like I was saying again, you have to trust your reaction time. He saw it and then he instantly just kind of jumped off and he went for it. So, good. No hesitation right there on the edge guard. Yeah, he was on him like white on rice right there. So, <laughs> Yeah, uh, very quick game. That's what I mean, man. Donkey Kong's frame is so big that those windows for error are a lot bigger than they usually are. Uh, you know, just because when he gets hit, there's literally like mountains of fur for you to hit. Mm -hmm. So, Town and City, going to be the stage choice right here. I can understand why that lower ceiling, the platform layout, definitely going to aid Mr. L in uh, you know, making these comebacks. Yeah, one of the most uh, common counterpick stages for DK. I, I know Mr. L pretty much goes here every set he plays if he can. Good stage. So, I like yeah. it. It was heavily debated on uh, <laughs> <laughs> heavily debated on if this should be a, a starter stage by a lot of people, but with that new new rule set, wow! As he takes the ding dong very early, does a little tea bag right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not really um, surprised. Donkey Kong's gonna. Well, you, if you're eventually Donkey Kong's gonna get that grab, mm. and you're gonna die for it. Interesting, going for uh, going for an F tilt right there when um, you could have just stood underneath him up smash and I'm probably gotten the stock right there. But don't want to talk too loud. You're sitting right over there. Yeah, <laughs> no coaching. And again, let's see if Mr. Elg also get off the ledge. Gonna get grabbed for it again. Forward throw to there. That is definitely not a thing. No rage. <laughs> yeah, that that was a good little mix up. He got that earlier on uh, on Gunblade's Mario actually. So. You know, Ice going for, <laughs> I guess you could call it the kill confirms question mark, like yeah. parentheses. <laughs> that was a team mix them, as they'd say in New York City. Mm -hmm. There you go, forward air across the screen right now. The interesting landing. Oh, that, that might, be, oh man, good DI by Ice coming out right there. They make a liar out of us, not bad. Okay, you see um, Mr. L definitely fishing for this grab right now. The important thing for Ice here is going to be playing anti-grab, using... Uh, you know, Sheik's fast frames and stuff like needles, uh, you know, to bait out other options for Mr. L. And again, let's see if he can get back to the stage, able to tech roll away. Oh, wow, what a mix up right there. Carries him off stage with the up special, but he's going to get back thrown. He was, uh, he was just kind of like dashing forward a lot. I think that was where Ice fell apart there. And uh, Mr. L was just sort of like playing a punish game, saw his openings. Um, that, that's what I'm starting to see a lot more of is, is who is more patient enough to just get the punishes and then pull the trigger faster. Right. So, good dynamic between these two players. Ice gonna opt to stay chic. I know he has a Marth that he says he likes going Marth for DK a lot better. Um, but running it back, yeah, but it's, actually. It's one of those things where you're oh. too much of a character loyalist to, like, you know, switch off. Especially in a situation like this. Like, when I had to switch off to play Marth today, I was just like, ugh, do I really have to do this? You play Marth now? Yeah, he's okay. a he's a thing. All right, all righty, I see you. <laughs> swords, are, <laughs> swords are cool, man. Anyway, yeah. so we're gonna run it back right here. An interesting little string right there from Ice again. Has Mr. L on the ledge? 
Yeah, yeah. Ice, Ice playing a lot less shield heavy. He's only holding shield like when he's in the air, when he expects like maybe a landing aerial or something, but he's, he's playing with a lot more safe aggression right here, understanding his character's follow-ups. Not really like fishing for anything, just kind of getting it. Let's see if he goes for the bouncing fish right here. It's, I'm not going to fish for the bouncing fish, obviously. Because <laughs> that would make too much sense. Oh, yep, there it is. Yeah, that was very, very greedy uh, for Mr. L. Definitely trying to... Uh, uh, called a bluff on ice, see if he would bouncing fish early instead of throwing the needles. Yeah, I'm not sure I've ever seen him miss an angled needles to bouncing fish confirm. I think he's very, uh, oh, as he gets paper crap to, wow, 74 <laughs> That's That's the matchup, man. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, Donkey Kong just, it's, it's like being grabbed by Gorilla in real life. Oh, man. You know, like, manhandled, as they yeah. say. Yeah. <laughs> Stock, stocks out for Harambe. Uh oh. Oh, my gosh. No. <laughs> I thought, can we leave that in 2016, please? It's almost a year-long anniversary of that meme. More enough for my mans. But anyway, um, Mr. L almost getting uh, destroyed on the left side of the stage right there, but able to get back nicely, only to be comboed once again. Yeah, well, and, I believe this is, and I believe this is still a best two out of three. So. Yeah, so two grabs, and it, I, Ice just has to be a little bit more careful because he fell apart last game when he was rushing him down, like, unsafely, committing to his dashes, and then he was in a position where he couldn't shield, and he just, ugh. I'm going to say yes, I get grabbed like two Yep, there it is, there it is, there it is. It is oh, over. Ice is eliminated sucks. from the tournament. 54%, the Ding Dong is going to take it. That really did not look like it was going to be Mr. L's game, but man. Ice just taking a deep breath, nodding his head, accepting what he did wrong. Why does watch Donkey it back Kong later. Have teeth? Can we talk I, about that? Like, I'll, I'll never understand that. I Why